Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the session. In today's class, we'll discuss uh, the problems on properties of the transform. By using the properties of the transform, uh, we'll solve problems. We'll compute the z-transform of uh, x of n. And we already discussed the problems on z-transform so for basic signals, right-sided sequence, left-sided, both-sided sequence, and so on. We already know this, we discussed about properties of Z-transform. The properties like uh, linearity. The linearity property is given by the weighted sum of input signal is equal to the weighted sum of output signal. That is A into X of N plus B into Y of N. Z-transform is A into X of Z plus B into Y of Z. The second property is the time shifting. The time shifted version of input that is x of n minus n naught, z transform is uh, z to the power minus n naught into x offset. The third property is your z domain differentiation or differentiation in z domain is n into x of n, and z transform is minus z into d by dz of x offset. Then scaling property a to the power n x of n is Z transform is X of Z by A. So scaled by a factor of A. And time reversal will reverse the input signal that is X of N as X of minus N. And the Z transform is uh, X of 1 by Z, inverse of Z. Last one we discussed convolution property. We'll take two signals. Z of n convolved with x of n, z transform is x of z into x of z, h of z into x of z, and this h of z uh, we'll call it as a transfer function. We'll discuss that uh, topic in a later section. The transfer function generally is given by output by input. So these are the properties we discussed. Now by using this property, we'll compute the z transform of uh, different signals. Here yeah, the first one uh, x of n is equal to 7 into 1 by 3 to the power n u of n minus 6 into 1 by 2 to the power n u of n. Find its a transform. Now, using linearity property, uh, first we will know the definition of set transform that is x of z uh, is given by the summation or n is for minus infinity plus infinity x of n z to the power minus n and here there are two terms are there so i consider this as x1 of n and the second term as x2 of n and i'll use the linearity property the linearity property is given by a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n z transform is a into x1 of z plus b into x2 of z now i'll substitute x of n in this particular equation, the summation of n is for minus n plus infinity, 7 into 1 by 3 to the power n u of n minus 6 into 1 by 2 to the power n u of n into z to the power minus n. Now I will consider this constant, this is a constant term, I will take it outside. And because of this u of n, this is the right sided sequence, so, so I will write the limit as uh, 0 to infinity 1 by 3 to the power n z to the power minus n minus 6 into summation over n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 to the power n z to the power minus n and we know that z transform of a to the power n u of n is given by 1 by 1 minus a z inverse now i'll use this i'll use i'll use this equation directly here then i'll write it as uh, 7 into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse minus 6 into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse. So I will consider this equation as 1. I will rearrange this. I write in terms of positive powers of z. So I can write it as 7 into z by z minus 1 by 3 minus 6 into z by z minus 1 by 2. Now 
First multiplication here 7 into z, z minus 1 by 2 minus 6 into z, z minus 1 by 3 divided by z minus 1 by 3 into z minus 1 by 2. I will multiply this, you will get 7z square minus 7z by 2 minus 6z square plus 2z. Here is z square minus 3 by 2z divided by z minus 1 by 3, z minus 1 by 2. Finally, I can I'll write it as x of z as uh, z into z minus 3 by 2 divided by z minus 1 by 3, z minus 1 by 2. Now from the equation 1, uh, we we'll plot the, we'll indicate the ROC, this ROC is given by 1 by 3 z inverse less than 1 and here 1 by 2 z inverse is less than 1. So the ROC 1 is given by magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 3, the ROC 2 will be given by the magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 2. So both are uh, right side, both terms are right sided sequence. So the ROC will get greater than condition, greater than 1 by 3 and greater than 1 by 2. Now for a linearity property, the ROC will be R1 intersection with R2. If I intersect this, uh, intersect, I will take the intersection of these two ROC, R1 and R2, then ROC will be magnitude of Z is greater than 1 by 2. Cause 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 3. So now to plot the ROC, I will draw a circle with the radius 1 by 2 and the ROC will be outside the circle, outside the circle shown with the shaded line here and the poles and zeros, you know that what is poles and what is zeros, the two poles are present here, one is at 1 by 3, other one is at 1 by 2. So I have indicated by a cross mark. One is at 1 by 2, other one is at 1 by 3. And uh, two zeros, one is at 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1.5 and one more zero is present at z is equal to 0. So it's about poles and zeros. So zeros are indicated by using a, a small circle. So here I use the linearity property. For linearity property to determine the ROC, we should take the intersection of uh, two terms that is R1 and R2, take the intersection of that and the ROC will be the combination of that. So next we will discuss uh, the problems related to convolution property. Now find the Z transform of X of n equal to 1 by 2 to the power n U of n convolved with 1 by 3 to the power n u of n. So here star indicates convolution operation. You have to find the z transform using uh, the properties of z transform. So here I am using a convolution property. So I will write the input signal that is x of n is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n u of n convolved with 1 by 3 to the power n u of n. The convolution property of z transform is given by x1 of n convolved with x2 of n, its z transform is x1 of z into x2 of z. x1 of n convolved with x2 of n, its z transform is x1 of z into x2 of z and that is convolution in time domain is equal to multiplication in a frequency domain. Now I will write RHS that is x of z is equal to z transform of 1 by 2 to the power n u of n into z transform of 1 by 3 to the power n u of n. Now we know that a to the power n u of n its z transform is 1 by 1 minus a z inverse a z inverse Therefore, if I take the z transform this particular term, I will get it as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse. So, I am multiplying the two terms here. So, this will be 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 6 into z to the power minus 2. Therefore, 
Therefore, my final answer is so x sub z is equal to 1 by 1. I'll add this. It is minus 5 by 6 z inverse plus 1 by 6 at the power minus 2. Again, for a convolution property also, if I want to determine the ROC, then I take the uh, intersection of the two ROs, that is R1 and R2. Here also two terms are there. One is at, one is 1 by 2 to the power infinity of n, other one is 1 by 3 to the power infinity of n. So here the ROC will get uh, z is greater than 1 by 2, another one will get z is greater than 1 by 3. If I'll take the intersection of that, uh, then ROC will be magnitude of z is greater than 1 by 2. So here I'm using uh, I'm using convolution property. The third problem is uh, use properties of Z-transform to compute X of Z of X of N is equal to N minus 2 into 1 by 2 to the power N U of N minus 2. So this is my given signal, the input signal. I have to obtain the Z transform of this by using the properties of Z transform. And here you can observe in the equation here n minus 2 is there, here 1 by 2 to the power n u of n minus 2 is there. So the signal is uh, shifted by 2 units. So here I am using a multiple properties or I am using a two properties here. One is uh, time shifting property. Another one is I am using uh, differentiation property. And third one uh, I am using a uh, scaling property also. So three properties I am using to compute the uh, Z transform of this X of n. So first I'll use a scaling property of the transform that is the transform of a to the power n e of n is uh, z transform is 1 by 1 minus a by z or I write it as 1 minus a z inverse because you know that signal is multiplied with the uh, exponential signal that is a to the power n into x of n it's a transform is x of z by a. So I use that equation, so then therefore Z transform is 1 by 1 minus AZ inverse. Now instead of A to the power N, I write it as 1 by 2 to the power N into U of N. So A is equal to 1 by 2 U. Therefore Z transform of this I can, it can be written as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 Z inverse. Or I write this as uh, Z by Z minus 1 by 2. So this is the Z transform of 1 by 2 to the power n into U of n. Uh, next, I'll use a differentiation property because you can observe here uh, the signal is multiplied by n minus 2. So, first I'll take n into 1 by 2 to the power n into U of n, then I'll use a time shifting property. Okay, you know that if the signal is multiplied with the uh, RAM signal, that is n into n, that is n into x of n, that is equal to in uh, Z transform it is in a Z domain it is uh, differentiation. So differentiation property is defined as uh, Z transform of n into x of n is given by minus Z into d by dz of x of z. Minus Z into d by dz of x of z. Now we'll use uh, n into 1 by 2 to the power n to u of n. That is given by minus z d by dz of z minus z minus 1 by 2. Because I already computed the z transform of 1 by 2 to the power n into u of n. That is given by z by z minus 1 by 2. I will substitute this. Here this x of z as z by z minus 1 by 2. Now I will dif differentiate this. Then I will apply the time shifting property. Now differentiation of term, I will use a quotient rule that is a differentiation of u by v, it is u, u by v rule that is given by v into differentiation of u minus uh, 
q into differentiation of v divided by v square minus z into v that is z minus 1 by 2 into 1 v into differentiation of differentiation of z that is 1 minus u that is z into differentiation of z minus 1 by 2 what is the differentiation of z minus 1 by 2 it is again 1 denominator v square that is z minus 1 by 2 whole square now after simplification on this z get cancels they will get 1 by 2 z z is minus 1 by 2 here multiplied with minus z you will get 1 by 2 z so numerator is 1 by 2 z divided by z minus 1 by 2 to the power 2 Now you have to apply the time shifting property. So to apply the time shifting property, you can observe there in given x of n that is given by n minus 2, 1 by 2 to the power n u of n minus 2. The important thing to apply the time shifting property wherever n is there, that n should be replaced by n minus 2. So here n minus 2 is there, but here in the given equation 1 by 2 to the power n is there. So I need to make that as 1 by 2 to the power n minus 2. This is not a problem. This is in terms of u of n minus 2. So this is delayed by 2 units. Now to bring into this particular form, I have to multiply and divide by 1 by 2 whole square. So if I multiply and divide by 1 by 2 whole square, then I will get 1 by 2 whole square divided by 1 by 2 whole square. And then it is b 1 by 4. I will take the numerator. I will take it as separately 1 by 4. Denominator I will consider in this particular equation. It is 1 by 2 the denominator. If I will bring it to the numerator, then it will be 1 by 2 n to the power n minus 2. Now you can observe n minus 2 here. This is also n minus 2, and here also n minus 2. Okay, now we can apply the time shifting property. The time shifting property of the transform is given by that shifted version of x of n, that is x of n minus n naught, and the transform is uh, z to the power minus n naught into x of z. Now I will take the z transform of this particular equation that is z into 1 by 4 n minus 2 to 1 by 2 to the power n minus 2 u of n minus 2. So this is a constant term. I write it as it is 1 by 4. And I already calculated the z transform of uh, n into 1 by 2 to the power n u of n. Here I can consider this as x of z. So 1 by 2 into z, z minus 1 by 2 to the power, 1 by 2 whole square. Now z to the power minus n naught. What is n naught here? n naught is 2. So I write it as z to the power minus 2. Z to the power minus n naught. And in this case, n naught is 2 because the signal is shifted right by 2 units. So I can write z to the power minus 2, 1 by 2 z divided by z minus 1 by 2 whole square. Now I will take 1 by 4 and this is multiplied. So it is 1 by 8. And z to the power minus 2 is z. So I will get z inverse. Right, z inverse. Therefore I will write it as 1 by z into z minus 1 by 2 whole square. So in the denominator we will get uh, z into z minus 1 by 2 whole square. So this is the z transform of the signal. And here, see, you can observe uh, the important thing is uh, you have to bring into the standard form in such a way that the n here should be replaced by n minus 2 in everywhere. A given equation here 1 by 2, 2 to the power n was there, and I should make it as 1 by 2 to the power n minus 2. While multiplying and dividing, uh, the, the defect should be cancelled. So I am dividing and multiplying by 1 by 2 whole square. So it's a problem which is related to the time shifting property and you I used uh, three properties one is scaling property uh, scaling in z domain and the second one I used the differentiation property and third I used the uh, time shifting property directly also you can obtain the transform um, at that time in, uh, in the limit because of this u of n minus 2 the lower limit will become 2 and upper limit will become infinity. You can solve by using that also.
The fourth problem is uh, find the z transform of x of n is equal to n into sin pi by 2n u of minus n. And you have to find the z transform using the properties of z transform. Again, uh, you have to apply the properties and you have to compute the z transform of this particular signal x of n. Now, first, very important thing uh, before applying the properties, you should know which of the properties are applicable to solve this problem. You can observe by looking at this equation, you can observe here n is there, n into sin pi by 2 n. So, I need to apply differentiation property. And second one is you can observe here minus is there, u of minus n. So, because of this minus n, uh, I can apply time reversal property also. So, first we will apply the differentiation property, then we will apply the time reversal property. To again for a time reversal property, wherever n is there, that n should be replaced by minus n. So, uh, I can write this x of n as uh, minus n sin minus pi by 2 n u of minus n. Because you know that sin minus pi by 2 n is can be written as uh, minus sin pi by 2 n. So, minus minus get cancelled. So, you get the same equation. So, there should not be a change with respect to the equation. If I do some manipulation, the given equation should be same. So, to solve this problem, first I will compute the z transform this sin pi by 2 n u of n. Then I will apply the differentiation property. After applying differentiation property, I will apply time reversal property. So, sin pi by 2 n u of n. So, in the table, you are having one uh, sinusoidal signal. You know that the z transform of a sinusoidal signal. The z transform of a sinusoidal signal is given by it is sin omega naught n into u of n. Its z transform is given by z sin omega naught divided by z square minus 2z cos omega naught plus 1. So, this is one of the standard signal and they already obtained the z transform of this particular equation. Another class I have solved this problem. It is z transform of sin omega naught n into u of n is given by z sin omega naught divided by z square minus 2z cos omega naught plus 1. Now, I will compare the general equation and the given equation that is sin pi by 2 n into u of n. So, here omega naught is pi by 2. Now, I will write this as a z sin omega naught is pi by 2 sin pi by 2 the denominator z square minus 2 z cos pi by 2 plus 1. What is sin pi by 2? Sin 90 degree it is 1. What about cos pi by 2? Cos pi by 2 is 0. Right. So, this particular term will become 0, 0 to z is 0. Therefore, my equation is z divided by z square plus 1. So, very important thing is you should be, you should remember this particular equation. So, z transform of some standard signal, it is already mentioned in the textbook also. The table is there, you should know the z transform of this particular signal. And if I know that table, then I can write directly, then I will just compare with the standard equation substitute the value of omega naught. So, if we will get z by z square plus 1. Now, I will multiply n. So, next part is, uh, I will use a differentiation property. It is n sin pi by 2 n into u of n. I know that the differentiation property is given by n into x of n and z transform is minus z d by dz of x of z. So, multiplication in a ram this multiplication in, uh, by a ramp in a time domain is equivalent to differentiation in a z domain. Let n sin pi by 2 n into u of n and its z transform is uh, minus z d by dz and I have computed the z transform the sin pi by 2 n into u of n I will substitute here z by z square plus 1. Yeah, and again I will use the u by v rule here, that is quotient rule. You know that 
v into differentiation of u minus u into differentiation of v divided by v square. That is minus z v z square plus 1 differentiation of u that is 1 minus z is u and the differentiation of v is uh, z square plus 1 that is given by 2z divided by v square z square plus 1 whole square. Again the simplification minus z z square plus 1 minus 2z square and you will get uh, minus z square plus 1. If I multiply this uh, minus uh, here it is my z cube z cube plus 1 divided by z square plus 1 whole square. Now using a time reversal property that is uh, time reversal property is given by x of minus n z transform is x of 1 by z. by z and uh, it is given by the minus n sin minus pi by 2 n u of minus n. As I mentioned um, if I am using a time reversal property wherever n is there it should replace by minus n. So I can write the given equation as minus n sin minus pi by 2 n into u of minus n. What is sin minus theta? It is given by minus sin theta. Right. So minus minus get cancels. Minus into minus it is b plus. So you'll get a given equation itself. So therefore this is n sin minus n sin minus pi by 2 n into u of minus n. Now the changes is wherever z is there in the equation you replace by 1 by z. The z is replaced by 1 by z. You can observe here z cube is there. Z cube and the denominator z square plus 1 whole square is there. Now if I am applying a time reversal property, you know that x of minus n z transform is x of 1 by z or z inverse it is. So z is replaced by 1 by z into z cube. So if there is no small changes in the equation. Uh, if I multiply this, I will get uh, minus z u. So this is also minus z. So 1 by minus 1 by z. And the denominator z is replaced by 1 by z. So it is 1 by z whole square plus 1 whole square. So, I need to simplify further and uh, this will be the final answer. So, here I used uh, a differentiation in z-domain property and the uh, time reversal property. So, you can observe if there is any negative term is there, that is n is replaced by minus n is there, means you can apply time reversal property. And the precedence also, first we apply differentiation property then you can apply a time reversal property. So it will be easy if I follow that approach it will be easy to compute the z transform of uh, this particular signal it is minus n sin minus pi by 2 n u of minus n. Find the z transform of the signal this first one is x of n is n into u of n. And second one is x of n, n square in, into u of n using properties of z transform. So this is a, a standard problem and I have to solve this problem by using a properties of z transform. And here one is n into u of n, other one is n square into u of n. So given x of n is n into u of n and you know that the z transform of u of n that is one of the standard signal units of function and z transform of u of n is given by z by z minus 1 or it is 1 by 1 minus z inverse. So z by z minus 1. Now using a differentiation in z domain property take this as uh, u of n as x1 of n. So I write x, n into x1 of n, its z transform is uh, minus z d by dz of x1 of z. 
therefore n into u of n is a transform is given by minus z d by dz z by z minus 1 z by z minus 1 here i'll apply a quotient rule that is u by v differentiation of u by v it is given by v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square so i write uh, z minus 1 into 1 minus z to 1 so z minus divided by z minus 1 whole square so i just interchange it i uh, written in another reverse order instead of that this is first you can write this as a first term this i can write as second term z minus 1 v into differentiation of u 1 minus u into differentiation of v that is you'll get minus z here so if i'll simplify this then i'll get minus z plus z minus 1 divided by z minus 1 whole square into minus z so here yeah, this get cancels remaining is minus into minus this plus so therefore the answer will be z by z minus 1 whole square z by z minus 1 whole square the same problem we can compute directly i'll get this the answer as uh, z by z minus 1 whole square so always when i'll multiply the ramp signal the always in the denominator will get a square z minus 1 square Similarly, you can try this uh, x of n is equal to n square and n, n square into u of n. So you, you have to apply the differentiation property two times. You have already obtained the transform of this n into u of n, and again you have to apply the differentiation property. So such a way that you will get minus z d by dz of z my z by z minus one whole square, and differentiate that and find out the answer. That is the answer for x of n is equal to n square and n into u of n. So here again I uh, applied the property that is the differentiation in z domain property and I computed the z transform of the signal. So some of the problems which is related to the z transform of the different signals by using uh, the properties of z transform. So I mentioned uh, six properties. So the properties like uh, linearity, then time shifting, then scaling in the domain property, then differentiation in the domain, time reversal property, and last one convolution. By using all these properties, I have solved some problems. The by using if they'll mention in the problem in the question paper if they'll mention by using the properties of z transform obtain or compute the z transform the following signal means you have to use the properties otherwise uh, you can solve directly the important thing is uh, you should be able to remember the properties if you are able to remember the properties then uh, directly apply the z transform for that and find out the answer and even at the same time you should know the table also that is uh, the z transform pair table and the year that you should know the z transform from standard signals like uh, impulse signal unit step signal ramp signal sine order signal and if you know the z transform of the standard signal then you can directly i can write uh, the so you take the equation that is a to the power n into u of n and z transform is uh, 1 by 1 minus a z inverse then I can apply the properties otherwise you have to compute the z transform that particular signal then you can apply the properties of z transform so the important thing is uh, by using the properties uh, the problems what are the problem is then it will be easy and it is easy to compute the z transform instead of solving it directly so try to complete the second problem here the x of n is equal to n square into u of n and the many problems solved in the textbook you can refer that textbook and apply the properties and uh, compute the z transform of that thank you